Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to insert images and PDF pages in LaTeX. To do that we can use two packages, GraphicX for JPEG files and PDF pages for PDF files. Before starting I want to show you that there are four files in my folder. If you look at the left side you will see that there are two PDF files, one JPEG file and one text file. Now. In this text file, I will insert the image from JPEG file. To do that, we need to load GraphicX package. And we can do that by using use package command. And let's type GraphicX. In this package, there is a command called include graphics. By using this uh, command, we will insert the image from logo JPEG. Inside the curly brackets, it's an optional argument. Let's keep it empty for now. But here inside the curly brackets, let's specify logo JPEG. When I compile, you will see that it's, uh, let me scroll down. So this is my image. And let me also show you the image. So this is the image I want to insert. But it's quite big. so. I can do two things about it. The first one, I can specify the width, let's say 6 cm, and height, let's say 4 cm. And when I compile, now it's smaller. But the, the problem is that the width is uh, it's not proportional. So if you want to keep the proportion the same, we can use scale instead of the width and height. So let's say that the scale is 0 0.1. Basically, it takes uh, only 10% of the, it shrinks 10% of the image. Now, it looks fine. Also, I can uh, rotate it. To do that, we need to use uh, angle command, angle key, and let's say, for example, 45 degree. Okay, as you can see, I just rotated the image. There are several keys that you can use for this optional argument. But for now, let's keep it in that way. Even just let me delete this angle. And also, we can uh, insert an image from a PDF file. And for that, like again, we can use include graphics comment and let's say that the scale is 0 0.1 and this time I am inserting the image from PDF file logo PDF dot PDF and let's compile and if I scroll down so this is the second image so let me just type here image from PDF and this one is image from JPEG and it will be more, it will be clear. So here, okay. So as you can see, I just inserted the image just next to a text to avoid it. We can use a figure environment, for example, let's say figure and I am taking this include graphics between here and okay so let me just delete label for now and we have a caption for example let's delete here okay sorry for being fast but i'm just organizing the file is that here i will raise image from the jpeg file and here we can use centering to center the image okay so it's here and if I H here. It's about positioning, but I will not mention positioning in this video. I will talk about it in the following videos. And as you can see, I insert the image in that way. We can also do the same for PDF, but let me just copy the code above, paste it, and let me just change the file name and remove the unnecessary part. Also, let me change the caption. Okay, 
we insert two images. One of them is from JPEG file and the other one is from PDF file and they are the same image. And we use GraphicX package for it. Now this was all about images. What if you want to insert some PDF pages? We can also do that and for that we need to use package called PDF pages. Let's load it PDF pages and it has a comment called include PDF and again the square brackets part is optional let's keep it empty for now and I am typing the file name which is graphic x guide.pdf when we compile it just gives an error because there is a typo here let's fix it compile again now let me scroll down okay so you see that this is the this part is coming from this pdf file so it starts with packages in graphics uh, this is the title of the pdf and this is the table of contents and if i scroll down so my image is here okay so this only included the first page as you can see because the rest is not here if you want to specify which pages you want to include we need to write pages as key in the uh, square brackets then let's open a curly brackets and we are writing down the pages we want to include for example let's say i want to include the first page to third page then i want to include an empty page if you just write down a, a curly brackets here it will create a blank page for you and we can also take for example 8 10 to 12 and let's compile now now i have page one for uh from the graphic x guide pdf i have page two let me scroll down page three and this is my okay let me just zoom out so you will see it clear so this is my blank page here that i provided and if i scroll down this is page eight of the this file graphic x guide so because i specified that page page eight and now we have 10 11 and 12. okay so we got the pages we want you can also specify for example scale and let's say 0 0.5 so it won't be that big now it just made the pages very small because I just scaled them so if you compare with the regular page it's quite small and you can also provide several keys and values to modify your pages and I think uh, that's all about inserting images and PDF pages for now. Thank you for watching our video. Please leave a comment if you have any question. Hope to see you in the next videos.